Hello friends all over the world. My name is Clifford Chukwemeka and I want to do a quick video uh, because I'm doing a very special video to say a happy birthday to a very great son of uh, Igbo land who precisely one week from today on the 20th of November will be celebrating his 80th birthday. We are talking of no other person than Dr. Chukwemeka Ezife Okwajike, the first governor of Anambra state when Enugu state was taken out of Anambra state. A very erudite and an accomplished man. This man had his PhD at the age of 33 at the famous Harvard University. And he was a professor at Makerere University in Uganda, the best place to study economics in the whole of Africa. I congratulate you, my dear. Uh, daddy, I call you daddy because my own father is just seven years and seven months older than you. So you are a daddy to me. I congratulate you. Happy 80th birthday, Dr. Chukwemeka Ezife. And the people of Ibuku are very proud of you, especially my own dear brother, Dr. Okemwangosu, who is also from Ibuku. I am very happy on this day, on the 20th of November, this year you will be 80 years old so i am really excited and happy for you however dr zipe i am troubled why am i troubled i am troubled because of what i saw on the tribune please if you can zoom in here you can see it says 2023 Igbo will cease to be part of nigeria if denied presidency dr zipe that was the Tribune of November 11, 2019. And so I begin to get worried. Why is Dr. Zife a, such an accomplished man, a very educated and informed man, talking about Igbo presidency in 2023? This is very troubling to me. Daddy, Dr. Zife, please don't go that route because there is no road, it is a road to nowhere. The constitution of Nigeria can never make an Igbo man a president. It is absolutely impossible for an Igbo man to be president of Nigeria with the existing constitution of Nigeria. There are two sections in that constitution that makes it impossible for an Igbo man to be president of Nigeria. Section 3, subsection 1. And section 134, subsection 2, these two sections make it absolutely impossible for an Igbo man to be president of Nigeria. I repeat, absolutely impossible for an Igbo man to be president of Nigeria based on that Nigerian constitution. So it troubles me a lot for you to be advocating for Igbo president in 2023. That is not what the Igbos want. What the Igbos want now is for a transitional government that will first of all ask the question if we are all ready to continue in that Nigerian Union. Then after that, the next question will be who will unite with who? Who will be in one union with who? I'm not Igbo president. In fact, an Igbo president, even if at all it happens, will be hopeless, will be helpless, will be ruderless, and will be useless because of section 2, subsection 1, which makes it impossible for anybody to bring up the issue of Article 20, Cap A9, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. It is impossible for you to talk about, in, in terms of people going into self-determination, section 2, subsection 1 of the Constitution ruled us out. Number 2, section 4, subsection 2, makes the pres Igbo president useless. Section 4, subsection 5, makes the Igbo president useless. Section 9 is even the worst because you cannot amend the constitution if it goes against the interests of the North. Section 48 and section 49 gives absolute majority to the North. Now, the worst of them all is section 162. Subsection 1, that makes the Igbo president useless and worthless. Therefore, I am pleading with you, Daddy, please, 
Don't talk about Igbo presidency 2023. Talk about enthroning a transitional government that will go into redefining the union and letting those who want to, you know, refederate to refederate and those who want to be on their own to be on their own. Please, I wish you a happy 80th birthday, but please, my dear brother, do not, do not continue with this Igbo presidency thing. Please, those who are very close to uh, Dr. Ezi Peshu, please send him this video. Dr. Okay, one more to his from your place. Please try and see you can send him this video. Very important. Again, congratulations, Dr. Zipe, on your 80th birthday. And God continue to bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much.